Any guesses in chat what we're doing with the cabbage? Coleslaw, coleslaw. Preferably eat it. Coleslaw. Okay, so using cabbage as a helmet, I like that, I like that. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make Korean style honey butter fried chicken bites. It's gonna be delicious. Since we're doing that, we're gonna do an Asian style coleslaw, which by the way, is the only kind of coleslaw I make because I hate mayo. The reason we're gonna do this backwards is simply because if I'm working with cabbage for a lot of things, I like to let it uh, drain some of its natural waters and you do that by salting it. So we're gonna do this first and then start the chicken. Oh my God, please leave that in the fridge. Oh my God, no, I'm gonna leave it out on the counter all day and all night until it's rotten tomorrow and I'm gonna drink all the rotten juices. It's gonna be delicious. All right, I'm gonna check. Yep, I like this. This is what I like to do. If you have time, you don't have to do this, but I like doing this. I salt it on its own. Because then it starts to release some of its natural waters. And then sometimes if there's like a lot, I'll dump it out. But it's also, it just gives you a good idea of how much liquid is in there. Because if you start adding all your oils and seeds like vinegar right away, it then might be too much and too soupy. So if you have time, this is just a good technique. I'll explain this to you guys. So I took boneless chicken thighs because they're gonna be juicier. And I made a mix of fresh crushed garlic, ginger, salt, pepper, and then I added buttermilk. And I whisked that all together, diced up the chicken into bite-sized pieces, and put this in the marinade and it's been marinating for, I don't know how many hours, but a lot since this morning. If you've ever made any kind of fried chicken, deep fried, pan fried, whatever, you've probably used flour, maybe you add a cornstarch or a little something extra to make it crunchy. But in my opinion, rice flour is the real secret to extra crispy anything fried really, if you're coating it, okay? We're gonna do a mix of rice, flour, and potato starch. Both of these just give your food a delicious crisp. Okay, a half a cup of rice flour, a quarter cup of potato starch, of course, don't forget your salt. Some fresh cracked black pepper. And togarashi. I'm gonna spice it up with togarashi. And I'm gonna take the lid off so I can eyeball this. And just, I don't know. I'm probably gonna add more than that because I wanna see. Eh, I wanna see like the red flakes in the fry. You know what I mean? Let's give it a little kick. Bam! That was really aggressive. That was way more aggressive than Emerald. I let the marinade, um, I took the chicken out for like 30 minutes before, just so it wouldn't be too cold for when we fry it. And I can already smell the garlic. Okay, so like I said, this is a buttermilk base with garlic, ginger, salt, and pepper. Now, if you're using ginger out of a jar, you can use a little bit more. If you're using fresh ginger, I just use a little bit less. I think I use like a half a tablespoon. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is cut into bite-sized pieces. And don't let them stick together when you do this, but put it in. I like to keep one hand on the dry side, one hand in the bowl here. Um, you can use any oil you want. I'm actually out of peanut oil. I thought I had a whole thing of it and I'm out. Okay, after you coat the chicken, let it rest for, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. Usually I do this with my hands, but because I got so much going on, I'm gonna use the tongs so I don't have to keep washing my hands. Oh, it's 
smells good. I'm starving, man. Oh, it smells delicious. Trying to go fast, 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 trying to go fast. This is one thing that feels impossible to do when you're streaming food is like making any kind of side dish because there's just too much going on to pay attention to. Let's see how much liquid the cabbage released. Not a lot, like nothing. Normally you'll see like water liquid dropping out after you salt it. It did, it did release some, but not enough to drain, need to drain it. So just add some carrot to the cabbage. I feel like that's enough. I didn't even need a whole entire carrot. That looks good enough to me. And then some green onion. For this, I like to use all of the onion, not just the green. Okay, add the green onion. I used two stalks of green onion. Because this is gonna be done really quick, we're gonna go back to making the sauce for the chicken. All right, for the sauce, 30 grams of butter. Oh, do you hear that crunch? Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so excited right now. Okay. Oh, the flavor is perfect. The spice was perfect. Mm. 30 grams of butter. A tablespoon of mirin. Three tablespoons of honey. Okay, so we have a tablespoon of mirin, three tablespoons of honey, 30 grams of butter. And now we're gonna add about two cloves of garlic. And I'll just put that on. Oh, this burner is slower. For this delicious coleslaw, we already added shredded cabbage, carrot, and green onion. Now, and of course salt, because I salted the cabbage first before anything. I'm gonna add some rice vinegar. This is the stuff, don't sleep on this. And sesame oil. Oh yeah, this is what makes it even better, man. And just mix. It's so simple, dude. Oh, perfect. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Not my own more sesame oil. I like to taste the sesame oil. Because usually I shred it a little bit thicker, but that's okay. It still tastes good. Mmm. -hmm. And then. Mmm, sesame seeds. So once you take it out of the oil, let it sit just a few minutes on a baking tray so it doesn't get soggy underneath. A little bit of chives. And now the good stuff, you guys. The drizzle. <laughs> to give it some color so it doesn't look so sad. Oh, are you ready? Are you ready? I'm so ready, you guys. I didn't eat. I'm so hungry. Oh, you can hear it crunch. Fucking oh, 
so good. <laughs> so good. Mmm. 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 Oh my god. Next level. Next level. Mmm. 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 I am not a big fan of like really sweet things like teriyaki sauce or sweet sauces in general that go on meat. I have some exceptions, but this works and it works because I put spice in the fry before and because the honey butter also has garlic in it. So it's not just pure sweetness. I feel like you could even add lemon and this would still be good, but I'm a lemon lover. Mmm. 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 I asked you guys on my Discord, if you were eating fried chicken, what side would you want with it? And you guys all gave me different answers. And then I said, well, what if it was slightly sweet and bite-sized pieces of chicken? But I was thinking about this meal in the honey. And I said, man, I could really go for some cornbread. So I stopped off at a place that I like and I just bought a piece of their cornbread. Usually it's golden, but hopefully it still tastes good. Yeah, it's still good. Brookie said some people like jam jelly on their cornbread. No, I like either butter or honey or both. And since we have this mix, I'm gonna do this. It has garlic in it, which I normally wouldn't do, but our breath is full of garlic, so. Yeah, this is it right here. Mmm. Oh my God. Mmm. Oh, delicious. Oh my God. I'm so happy right now. Ooh, leftover. Dude, that was really good. I was, I was, oh, and shout out to Corbito because he recommended a very similar recipe to this. 